Imagine cutting your power bill in half with technology that uses gravity. That's right, a company called Energy Vault is stacking 30 ton blocks that rise and fall to store energy, potentially revolutionizing how we power our homes. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how these massive gravity batteries work, why they might be cheaper than lithium ion or pumped hydro storage, and what this means for your future energy bills. Is this the solution to renewable energy's biggest problem or just another cool idea that won't scale? And we'll also examine how Delete Me can remove your personal information from online data brokers, but more on that later. Ever wonder why we can't just switch to 100% solar and wind power tomorrow? The answer might surprise you. And it's not about making enough energy, it's actually about storing it. And regardless of whether your motivation is the cheapest energy or the cleanest energy, solar and wind require a storage solution. We're seeing renewable energy installations pop up everywhere these days, but they face one massive problem. The sun doesn't always shine in the wind, well, doesn't always blow. And I could incorporate a lot of innuendos there. Our electrical grid is built on a simple principle. Power needs to be available exactly when we need it. No waiting, no delays, flip the switch and it's there. But here's where renewables hit a roadblock. According to the International Energy Agency, we're going to need more than 25,000 gigawatt hours of energy storage capacity by 2040, which is almost three times what we have available today. And this isn't just some minor upgrade, we're talking about a complete rethink thinking of how we store power. Now you've probably heard about the duck curve and it's a weird name but it illustrates our problem perfectly because during the day solar panels are pumping out tons of electricity when demand is actually pretty low and then the sun sets just as everyone gets home and turns on their appliances tvs and air conditioners and without proper storage all that daytime solar energy goes completely to waste and this mismatch forces utility companies to keep fossil fuel plants running on standby ready to fire up when renewable sources can't meet demand it's like having to keep a gas guzzling backup car in your garage just in case your electric vehicle runs out of charge expensive and inefficient and like the current situation we're dealing with but and guess who ultimately pays for this inefficiency that's right you do because when utilities can't store excess renewable energy they have to ramp up fossil fuel plants during peak hours which sends your electricity bills through the roof and it's a frustrating cycle that keeps us dependent on fossil fuels even as solar panels cover more and more rooftops to meet our needs now grid scale energy storage is really the missing piece that could unlock renewable energy's full potential. It's like having a massive battery for the entire electrical grid that stores excess energy when the sun is shining and the wind is blowing and then releases it when we need it most. Now currently pumped hydroelectric storage dominates the market accounting for over 95% of global energy storage capacity. It works by pumping water uphill when electricity is cheap and then letting it flow back down through turbines when demand increases. But here's the catch. It requires specific geography with elevation changes and large bodies of water, making it impossible to build in many regions. Plus, creating these massive reservoirs can disrupt natural habitats. Lithium ion batteries are the other main option, but they come with their own set of problems. You see, the mining process causes significant impact, pollution, and they pose safety risks like fires, and they typically only last about 15 years before degradation takes its toll, which is not exactly the long-term solution we need for our power grid right now. And this is where gravity batteries enter the picture and companies like Energy Vault are pioneering this approach. You see, the concept is beautifully simple. You use surplus renewable energy to lift massive blocks weighing 25 to 30 tons each. When electricity demand rises, these blocks are lowered in a controlled manner, turning motors into generators that feed power back to the grid. It's essentially storing energy as a potential energy in height, just like water behind a dam, but without needing specific geographical features. And we'll talk more about energy Vault's towering solution in a moment. But first, let's talk about how Delete Me, the sponsor of today's video, can help you remove your data from online data broker websites. Now, this is a service that I personally use, and they have removed my personal information from dozens of sites. Data breaches are becoming more common than ever, and that's why removing your personal information online is more important than ever. Delete Me helps you remove your personal information, like your name, address, phone number, and more, from data broker websites that buy, sell, and trade your data. And the process is as simple as a click. Simply submit your information and within seven days, you receive a report showing exactly where your data was found and removed. And Delete Me continues to monitor and remove your data all year long. And I can tell you from personal experience, it actually works. No, seriously. 
it works. Now you can get 20% off all US plans today by heading over to the link in the description down below and join the thousands of people who trust Delete Me to protect their online privacy and take control of your data today. Remember playing with building blocks as a kid? Energy Vault's engineers basically took that concept and supersized it to an almost absurd degree. Their first commercial gravity battery in Rudong, China isn't just impressive, it's a technological marvel that towers over the landscape with more than 3,500 massive blocks being precisely orchestrated by sophisticated elevator systems. This single installation can store over 100 megawatt hours of energy, which is enough to power around 35,000 homes when electricity demand spikes. Let's get a better picture of what we're looking at here. Imagine a structure that makes you feel tiny when you stand next to it, with each individual block weighing between 25 and 30 tons. These aren't your typical construction materials either. What makes Energy Vault's approach fascinating is that they manufacture these enormous blocks right on the construction site using local materials. They can literally dig up soil from the ground and transform it into energy storing blocks, but that's just the beginning of their materials innovation. Because if you need somewhere to dispose of old industrial waste like coal ash, Energy Vault can incorporate that into their blocks. If you happen to have some old wind turbine blades that would otherwise end up in a landfill, well, those can be recycled into the mix too. And this flexibility means they can adapt to whatever materials are locally available, reducing both environmental impact as well as transportation costs. Now, the engineering behind the system is deceptively straightforward but incredibly effective because when there's excess renewable energy during sunny or windy periods, the Energy Vault system activates its elevators to lift these massive blocks to higher positions within the structure. As they rise, they store potential energy just like a boulder perched at the top of a hill. And then when the electricity demand increases and the grid needs power, the system carefully lowers the block turning that potential energy back into electricity through generators. And what's particularly interesting is how Energy Vault's design has evolved. Their earlier prototypes used a crane-based system, but they've now moved to their current G-Vault structure that maximizes storage capacity and operational efficiency through the use of elevators. And this evolution shows that they're constantly refining their approach based on real-world performance data. And one of the most compelling advantages of Energy Vault's system is its incredible longevity. Now, we're all familiar with battery degradation, and while most energy storage technologies degrade over time, Energy Vault guarantees their systems will last for at least 35 years with virtually no degradation in performance. And if you compare that to lithium ion batteries, that typically need replacement after about 15 years. And you can see the long-term economic benefit despite the higher upfront costs. Also, unlike pumped hydro storage, which requires specific geographical features like mountains and reservoirs, these gravity battery systems can be built almost anywhere with sufficient space. You don't need rivers, elevation changes, or massive water supplies, just flat ground and construction materials. And this geographic flexibility means renewable energy storage can be deployed in many more locations around the world thanks to Energy Vault's technology. But many are still questioning whether this is actually feasible, which we'll examine shortly. But if you're enjoying this content so far, please consider subscribing and hit the like button for the algorithm. It's a free way you can show support and it is much appreciated. Now, these gravity systems may be deployable almost anywhere, but there's a fascinating disconnect between Energy Vault's bold promises and their recent business decisions. Why would a company claiming to disrupt lithium ion batteries suddenly start selling them instead? Let's pull back the curtain on Energy Vault's claims versus reality. Now, the company proudly touts their technology's impressive specifications, which is 80% round trip efficiency, meaning you get back 80% of the energy you put in in a life Span that's spanning 35 to 50 years with minimal degradation and lower long-term costs compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. And on paper, that sounds like a game changer for renewable energy storage. But here's where things get interesting. Since going public in February, 2022, Energy Vault stock has plummeted to around 250 per share, which is just a quarter of its initial value. And this dramatic drop isn't just about market fluctuations, it reflects growing skepticism from investors and energy experts alike about whether these massive block towers can deliver on their promises. One of the biggest challenges is energy density and gravity storage systems require substantially more physical space and materials than lithium ion batteries to store equivalent amounts of energy. And when you think about it, you need enormous structures and incredibly heavy blocks to capture meaningful amounts of energy, which translates to higher upfront construction costs and larger footprints. And the reality check continues when you look at their first commercial installation. And despite all the talk about long duration storage to solve renewable energy's intermittency problem, Energy Vault's actual system only provides about four hours 
hours of storage, which is nowhere near the multi-day or seasonal storage capability initially promised, and honestly, not much better than what lithium-ion batteries already deliver today. And perhaps the most telling sign of trouble is Energy Vault's surprising pivot in their business model because they've started selling conventional lithium-ion battery systems alongside their gravity technology. This strategic shift suggests they're hedging their bets, recognizing that most customers still prefer the proven technology they originally set out to disrupt. And as one analyst put it, this move reflects a strategic decision to remain relevant in a market where lithium ion technology is preferred by most customers. It is responsible in how they are answering to their shareholders, and there are serious questions about the structural integrity and maintenance of these systems long term. Energies have expressed concerns about how these massive blocks will perform over decades of operation. The fundamental issue lies in what experts call the power to energy ratio, which essentially limits how quickly these systems can discharge energy when needed, and the market timing also presents challenges because currently there's a limited demand for the very long duration storage, eight plus hours that gravity systems would best be suited for. Most utilities and grid operators are still focused on shorter duration needs that lithium ion batteries can handle well. And meanwhile, Energy Vault isn't the only player in the long duration storage game. Emerging technologies like compressed air storage, thermal storage using molten salt, and flow batteries are all competing for the same future market segment, each with their own unique advantages. So will Energy Vault succeed or become another promising green tech that failed to scale. Their willingness to adapt their business model shows flexibility, which is crucial for survival. And by integrating and providing software for large-scale battery projects, they've diversified beyond just gravity storage. Evidence of this pragmatic approach might give them the runway they need to refine their core technology while still generating revenue. So what does the future hold for gravity batteries in companies like Energy Vault? Well, the energy storage landscape is shaping up to be more of a buffet than a set menu. And rather than one technology dominating, we're likely heading towards a mix of solutions working in harmony to support our increasing renewable energy needs. And the good news is Energy Vault isn't sitting still either because they're expanding their portfolio with projects like a massive 400 megawatt hour battery storage system paired with solar in New South Wales, Australia. And this hybrid approach system shows how even gravity battery pioneers recognize that different situations call for different technologies. For us regular folks, the impact won't be immediate on our energy bills, but within the next decade, these innovations could help smooth out those price spikes we all hate during peak demand times. The real takeaway here isn't about which technology wins, it's about building a flexible, diverse energy system that can handle whatever the future throws at us. Sometimes the most elegant solution isn't one perfect technology, but many good ones working together in harmony. We hope you found this content helpful, and if you did, please subscribe for the algorithm and watch this next video.